Welcome back. We have Amanda from the Herb Shop here to teach us a little DIY project. I'm excited for this. We are making a massage candle. That's right. <laughs> so at the Herb Shop uh, on North Mississippi, mm -hmm. you guys sell different herbs in bulk and then kind of different products if you want to make something at home. So last time I saw you, we were making kombucha. That's right. And now <laughs> you do lots of different classes. So you just did a class about how to make a massage candle. Is it something everybody can do? Oh yeah, it's super easy. And most of the ingredients that are here are things that you can use for lots of other products. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. I like that. Then you don't just like buy a bunch of things and then never use them That's again. right. So it starts out looking something like this? Yep. So these are your three main uh, solids. So this is going to be a soy wax. Uh, this mm -hmm. is uh, very soft compared to like beeswax so it's gonna make a nice massage oil then we've got shea butter here and cocoa butter and a little bit of avocado oil mm -hmm. all of those are great for the skin they're gonna also give you some nice you know nutrients and nourishment to your skin and then you can kind of choose whatever essential oil what you want on the blog this is what is um, in there and you need about an ounce of that to make the complete candle and that's what makes it smell lovely. That's right. And well, then choose what you want it to do yep, to absolutely. your skin. Mm -hmm. This there particular blend is... There are things in there I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> there's some Lang Lang in there. Uh -huh. There's rose. There's neroli, cedar, um, a little bit of lavender, a little bit of geranium in Ooh, there, and a little bit okay. of jasmine. So this is a nice scent for um, aphrodisiac or Valentine's Day or you know okay. just kind of getting in the mood for anything fun. So. In the mood for St. Patty's Day. Yeah, St. Patty's so, Day. So if we were going to pretend that we're going to make it because we can't um, we can't like boil things in the studio, but we would take this, yep. pour it into the double, yep, yeah, a double boiler, double boiler is the easiest way, and that keeps it from burning on the bottom. So basically, you'll take it, put a little water in your bottom pan here, try not to bring spill it up it all to over a your simmer, table. <laughs> and then basically add all of your waxes and butters to that until it's a nice liquid base. So from that point forward, what you would do is you would bring it down with a candy thermometer, getting it to about 80 to 90 degrees will really help the, uh, hold the essential oil scents in there. And so then you just take it and you pour it into your tins. You want to have a good wick. This is a, a, oh. a wooden wick, which I really like. They burn really nice and long, as well as the soy wax, um, and cleanly, which is also important. And then you end up with a great candle like this here. So. And then you can use it. Obviously, you light the candle. It can yep. smell wonderful. And then you can actually kind of use it on your hands if you're going to. Yeah, you can. You want to just heat it up, and then you'll let it cool off just a little bit. It'll still be nice and oily. And then you can just rub it on your skin, have a massage, use it as a lotion or oil base. Amazing. Well, you can find all kinds of wonderful ideas for things to make, things that smell wonderful at the Herb Shop on North Mississippi. And you guys host all kinds of classes all the time, right? We do. We've got great classes coming up this spring. We saw something about a chocolate egg. Who yes. knows? You can make all kinds of things. So thank you, Amanda. Yeah, thank, thank you to the Herb Shop and have a great weekend, everybody. Good luck to everybody else. I'll see you at the Shamrock Run.